All right, here we go. So for Christmas, I got a new Keurig. It's pretty great. I had the first generation of Keurig and it was questionable. See, at the time we lived in a place that had a well and the well, um, the well had a lot of minerals and different things in it. And so what, what ended up happening was, um, it essentially filled up with sand and stopped working. And so I've been a drip pot and aerial press user for some time, but this Christmas, my wife bought me, my wonderful wife bought me a brand new Keurig duo and I have been enjoying it greatly. So there I'm drinking some coffee. So I suppose I should uh, explain what exactly this whole thing is about. See, I write, I write quite a bit. Um, most of the stuff that I write and do never sees the light of day, but I've got all this activity and I've got all this thoughts. My mind is very noisy and, uh, you know, I really like positive things. I mean, I, I like a s scary thing. Oh, look, there I am, uh, my bald head. Uh, I mean, I like scary movies and all that other jazz, just like everybody else. But I really, the older I've gotten, the more into just uh, being in awe of the world and of how complex and beautiful everything can be. And so what uh, I've been doing is I have been expanding my creative creativity, kind of setting up this thing. And I wanted to have something out there that I could use to chronal uh, chronologue my creative endeavors. Oh, yeah, actually the funny thing about that moose is uh, one of my friends after, right after I posted it online suggested that it looked a bit um, like some kind of monstrous lady parts. And so, um, that's probably the only time anybody will ever see it is in this first video, which I thought was hilarious. Um, anyway, so, um, I decided to do some art and I recorded it and I was like, well, crap, now I have this video, what I'm going to do with it. You know, I'm, I'm more of a writer that draws, but, uh, writing is visually boring. I mean, I guess I could record myself uh, typing on a keyboard. That'd be a thing, I guess. There's probably somebody out there that really likes that. But uh, I don't know. I have a. I've always had a very active imagination, and so uh, I used to draw, and I stopped. And just in the past year and a half, I've uh, picked it back up and been drawing and really enjoying it. And um, Sorry for the creaky chair. It is going to be a reoccurring character on the show. And so, um, anyway, so I hope you enjoy it. Um, I'll probably pop back in here and there to discuss a little bit about what's happening. But um, for the most part, um, I imagine this is probably going to be relatively contentless. Probably not, though.
So the plan in this particular piece was to, I've been playing um, just these, this game and it had these like gigantic crystals growing out of the ground, Pillars of Eternity. Um, it's like an old school game, like what I used to play whenever I was younger and had a PC and all this other stuff. And so um, anyway, so I've been uh, playing it and it has these giant pillars coming out of the ground. And I, I don't know, I had this like, crystal floating octopus thing kind of fl flit through my mind. I was like, what if it was just like this thing that floated around over people's houses sometimes and looks super menacing and everything, but it never did anything. It just was there. And so, uh, I got out my watercolors, got my pencil and, uh, drew it up real quick. Uh, so this is a little like carrier kit. Oh, and also I was, I've been enjoying, just choosing a few colors to work with. And so in this process, I was kind of trying to figure out which ones I was going to use in this, for this particular one. Um, also really prefer to do everything in a sketchbook. I'd love to find a way to like give people my sketchbooks. I mean, they'd probably be super boring. Um, they probably have like a few pages that are really good. And then the rest of it would be like, Oh, he drew, he struggled at drawing humans for five pages. Does anybody else have that problem? Like I struggle with the human form. Like I, I, I can barely, like I could draw a stick figure, but like anything above and beyond that, where like the expectation is, is that it would look kind of proportioned correctly. Like everything falls apart, everything. Oh, also this video, <laughs> I don't have the best recording setup, um, and I probably won't ever because I just, I just, um, it's more for my own enjoyment and maybe yours eventually. We'll see. But, uh, anyway, so, um, my phone is mounted with a suction cup and sometimes it gives way and that's what just happened there. So a little view into my world but here we go looks like we're about to start laying down some color idea here was to use the cools and everything to kind of overplay this idea that like maybe there's like glowing light coming from the crystal I think I should probably preface this by saying also I am not a professional artist by any stretch of the imagination I actually write code for a living and I'm rather embarrassed to tell my coworkers that I do stuff like this. So if you do come across this, I don't actually want to know. So I read online about an ancient Roman energy drink and I'm drinking apparently the modern equivalent of it right now. And it's super weird um, with one modification by me. So the ingredients are a water, um, apple cider vinegar, and then, well, the original ingredients were like water, red wine vinegar, and um, honey, but in this case, I'm drinking um, apple cider vinegar, um, oh, maple syrup, and Topo Chico, and it is surprisingly good. Um, I didn't expect that, and so I just kind of rolled with it, but that's kind of 
I don't know, that's kind of my thing. You know, people will be like, hey, do you want this thing that you know you like? Or do you want this thing that might be questionable and could be a really terrible, terrible experience? I'm like, but you've never had it before. And I'm like, oh, okay, give me the thing I've never had before. And that's kind of, I don't know, that's uh, kind of how I roll. So here I'm drawing a really terrible house and then I jump right back to the creature who has like this eyeball that's like floating in like gravity resistant goo. And then I just kind of start filling in, pushing the darks um, in the in the thing. That's that's something else I struggle with is like really being willing to like lay those dark colors down and like encroach on what I know I can never go back on if I really mess it up. Like right here, I'm I'm not like, I mean, I'm not so invested in this. I have like a panic attack while I do it, but I'm like, okay, well this is where it turns to crap if, if I'm really not thinking things through. So even though this video is like 18 minutes long, um, it is two videos or two sessions, two different sessions, probably about three or four hours worth of just sitting around drawing and thinking. I do a lot of photo reference. I'll look at a lot of photo reference. Um, I've never been one of these people that like hold stuff in their brain. Um, I will say the moose monster over there, um, I did just kind of think up. Um, and the white spot in the center was for me to like give it a name, but the second somebody named it online, I kind of was like, you know what? I'm just going to let this one be. I was going to write like a little poem about it, a poem about it. And I was going to do that with the one I'm working on right now. Oh yeah. This is also, this is not watercolor paper, like not even close. Like... It is um, a Midori notebook. It's leather. And then, um, anyways, I came back in here afterwards with my uh, Pentel color brush. It's black. And uh, after it was dry, and I just, it's a little fine pen, uh, pen brush. And I just kind of started laying in some lines. And uh, also, this was a first run. This is the first time I've ever recorded anything like this. And so I was like completely unsure as to what I was doing. Like I didn't, I wasn't able to see the screen of my camera. So like there are several things that happen off screen and I was like, oh yeah, that would have been cool. And then I watched it and I was like, oh, well you, you can't see that. Looks like I just like did something in a corner. But I'm just laying in lines here. Um, just kind of giving it that cartoony feel. Um, I always in loved, you know, watercolor with that line art over the top of it. Um, thank you, Bill Watterson. <laughs> All right, and there it is, it's done. Okay, now I'm playing where I'm with my lights. So I was trying to figure out, so I teach a class as well. And so I'm like trying to, f oh, and it's not art. So nobody worry, I'm not teaching art. I am uh, teaching web development, which I am very qualified to do. Oh, and this is, so I'm playing around with some software trying to figure out how to do this better. And uh, I did find some, if anybody's interested, they can, you know, anybody that has like a laptop and a in a phone and they're like, okay, I want to do this. How can I do this the cheapest way possible? So there's a Midori, um, open it up. I've got more clips on it than anybody really should. And, uh, I decided I was going to draw more antlers. So, uh, with the new setup, play around with the color of the lights to see which ones look nicer. <laughs> looking up some photo reference because 
Yeah, oh, there's a bottle of Topo Chico right there. Sweet. The old Stradaliner. So I get a lot of my photo reference from Unsplash. So if you are looking for free photos to reference and or use in collages and that sort of thing or graphic design for your professional work, it is a great place to get stuff. Anyway, so I found a nice picture of some antlers and uh, I'm just uh, kind of fleshing them in here a little bit. The software I found actually allowed me to see the screen of my phone on my computer and interact with it. So I was able to change the, like the zoom level of the camera as I worked. And so, you know, I was able to zoom in and out now and also see the phone screen just off to my side so I could actually see everything was like in frame. Actually don't know what's happening oh there i am must have been mixing some color probably should have zoomed out for that and so here i'm just you know you lay down the the initial light washes and now i'm just building the darks and really that's kind of why i chose this particular image because i struggle with that idea of like really laying down dark colors into my artwork and so I was like okay this is mostly shadows and so it really pushed me to like commit to those darker tones <laughs> Also, I have a brush pen that is full of Noodler's Walnut Brown. And I really wanted to use it too. And there it is. So, you know, get some of it off. And now I am laying in some lines with the Walnut Brown, which was a lot of fun. I really enjoyed that. And then I was like, okay, no deer face. We're gonna have him be in a bush or something. And that's what I'm doing here. So there you go. Now, yep, that's the end. Hope y'all enjoyed it.